Hello, and I would like to welcome you to HQ6A underscore 6SS6A. I, I encounter this player in a in game of mine. I, yeah, I, I don't really like having to deal with these guys. It's, it's as usual, uh, blatant abuse of whatever this is. And in my game, he was not very good, and I found this game, and he's extremely blatant. Now, in this case, it's a case of... I, it's, it's just a case of the blatancy of how Gaijin is just refusing to listen to anything in the community. Now, I have gotten a few comments about how can we get more exposure. I have talked to a few people on Reddit. I have talked to a, another squadron of guys that I've been talking to. I won't mention names because I don't want to target or anybody. Um, but I've encountered, essentially, a group of people that want to start pushing towards Gaijin to get action on this now unfortunately the only real people that can do a lot of action towards this are cc's that are talkative now what do i mean by that i mean like guys that do gameplay commentary so there's like justin tv there's spookston um unfortunately i would say koala but he is no longer a cc he was probably one of the biggest critics of the game that i actually liked um and i still do like, like his content so it's pretty obvious um but the only way to get actual exposure on this stuff nowadays is to get Gaijin to. I mean, unfortunately, it's hit the money, hit your, um, hit them where the money is, but that's not going to happen until Gaijin starts fixing some of the issues they have, or people do boycotts. But generally, boycotts don't work. Um, they're notoriously just non-functional. Um, the biggest thing about this is. That's terrible. That's hilarious. Um, the biggest thing about this is just people are not paying attention to the main issues at hand. I am time and time again telling people that they need to report as much as possible, do the right thing, and actually talk to people. I encourage people to report through the system as much as possible, but unfortunately, like Gaijin says, their, their stuff is just terrible. As far as I can tell, this guy has only had the account for as little as two weeks as far as I can tell he's not a squadron he basically just bought a bunch of premiums and he's been abusing the shit out of the Leo 2 basically ever since um, and I just I'll never understand how stuff like this is just gotten away with it's it's a really easy thing to do to say hey this player is completely egregious this player needs to be banned but this guy has been doing this for two plus weeks and you're relying on a player reporting system to do anything about it? I, I that that is just the blatant disregard of how stuff needs to be fixed, the game needs to be fixed, and I could give two shits about new vehicles if they did a like a, I'm thinking of the thing um like a living adjustment whatever they're calling it like a quality of life update that's what I'm thinking of. the quality of life update to just generally fix the issues. Remove EAC because it doesn't fucking work. Get in an anti cheat that actually works, or better yet, put in your own again, which actually freaking worked. Because if people have played the game long enough, you would know that Gaijin actually had their own anti cheat forever. Um, and the only real cheat back then um, was a she called a war overlay, and it was very rare to see cheaters. Um, and it was actually an expensive cheat. Nowadays, um, you can buy you can Chinese cheaters have. A cheat for this game for as little as ten dollars a month and that's that blows me away because it's just a proven concept of how easy it is to cheat in this game you might as well be like gta now where you can just cheat as much as you want and get away with it and as i've said always it's not going to really do anything until it hits ahead and at this point it's hitting ahead where i basically will play a bunch of games and I'll, as soon as i run into a cheater i just stop playing so I'll get probably eight to ten matches in before I find a cheater and I'm just done for the night. Or in a lot of cases, what I'll do is I is because I'm I want to go I want to play the game just in general. I'll play to like I'll go down to like rank or like rank three or play 4-0 just because it's more enjoyable and more fun. But I don't really want to rant about this too much just because I know that guidance is not going to really do much. And it's just really fucking sad that a company 
that has as cool as the game like this, that models a cool system like this, can't wrap their head around having a security team that works on the game full time. Even if it's volunteer, even if it's game masters, even if it's a security team that just is meant to do it correctly, they just don't do it. And that out outright just blows me away. I know I don't know a single other game company besides maybe indie games that doesn't have a dedicated security team or a dedicated person dedicated to security of their game. That in the long wrong one is gonna kill this game from just being a proper good game. And you have to get away with people doing this shit. So I do implore you to reach out to anyone. If you know a CC that can talk about this or if you know anyone that just has content that talks about this, I'm trying to get as much word out as possible. I want people to actually talk about this. I want anyone that will listen to reach out and realize that this is a major issue that needs to be resolved. Whatever it takes, Gaijin, it needs to be fixed. It needs to be mitigated or fixed, okay? Mitigation is the first step. Fixing it is the next step. There's always going to be cheaters, but doing the right thing and fixing your game to the point where it's not as shitty as this needs to be done. That's all we're asking for as a community. We like the game. We Long-time players love playing the game, but if you're not going to do anything about it, you're going to lose a lot of the population. I'd almost bet that a lot of the influx of player population is probably cheaters. <laughs> and that's really sad. So they're making a shitload of money off cheaters, but they're also having a giant influx of players that is just outright bullshit. <sighs> um, as um, In the end, guys, I also have some news. I am actually getting a new microphone. So hopefully my quality will improve a little bit. I'm not going crazy expensive, but I am getting sort of a boom mic. Um, so I will have less scratchiness and less issues with my microphone and whatnot. Um, if you've made this far in the video, I do appreciate it for any of you at all. Um, I do, uh, if you've noticed, I have a coffee. Um, if you want to donate, um, I appreciate any donations to it. Um, it's going to cost me about 80-ish dollars for the mic that I want because um, I have it on a sale uh, price at the moment. Um, so if you want to help out, I appreciate it. If not, I still enjoy your company and I enjoy you guys watching these videos and I enjoy your help. As always, I hope you have a good rest of your morning, day, evening, or night, and have a good one.